Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the Bridge Operator Console phone messages and phone paging features. These two features are available in version 2.2 for Windows of Bridge Operator Console. For today's demonstration, I will include a video of a soft phone in the bottom right hand portion of the screen. The first of the available new features is called the Park 4 notification. Users of Bridge Operator Console are familiar with the concept of Park 4. When a user gets a call, they have the option to park a call for another user. When they do that, they're able to see the user information in the Park 4 status. With the new features, the Bridge Operator Console server will actually push out a message to the telephone handset. As you can see, the message is displaying both the parking information of the parked position and a dialback number for the person who parked the call, as well as the time the call was parked, so that the user can differentiate whether the call notification has been there for an hour. You know, the call is obviously gone by then, so they don't need to dial it. In this case, I'll just hit the dial button, and those, as you can see, are now connected via the parked call. The second notification is the BOC forward notification. <clears throat> Users of Bridge Operator Console are familiar with the concept of being able to forward using our program. For example, if Susan Larson is out of the office today and I need to accept her phone calls for a few hours, I can forward it so her calls come to me for four hours. Now when I do that, as you can see on the phone, the user will be notified that their phone has been forwarded they'll get a notification showing who forwarded it and for how long. That message will stay up there until something else happens with the phone as far as calling or exiting or things of that nature. Similarly, if the phone forward is removed, the phone will also get a message about that. As they can see, the phone is now on forward. The third message that can be displayed on a phone, and this is customizable on the server side. Um, a list of users can be enabled to receive a pop-up notification on their phone in the event that someone dials 911. For example, I just dialed 911 on phone 7001. As you can see, the message is displayed on the screen and will contain all information that it can gather about the party dialing 911. One of the other features available is user-to-user -user paging, or, or excuse me, user-to-user -user messaging. To enable that, simply right-click on the person you wish to send a message to and click Message to Phone. <clears throat> Upon sending that message, the message is displayed on the phone. It is shown who sent the message and the message text. Bridge Operator Console also will include an optional component for group paging and text messaging. This allows you to build groups to receive blast messages. In this example, I'll use our main text group, which sends to three different phones. The concept is the same. You're able to type a message in the message box and hit send, at which point that message will be displayed on all of the phones in that notification list. Bridge Operator Console 2.2 and above also includes the ability to do voice paging. For example, if I want to voice page a user where I will be speaking and they will be listening, I simply right-click on them and say page to phone. When I do that, you see the paging window pops up, and the phone has gone to listen mode. It doesn't use a phone line. It uses uh, something built into the phone to do that. And as the paging time expires, the phone will return to normal. If I need longer paging, I have the ability to do that, and I also have the ability to end the page sooner. I'll show that one more time so you can watch this window here. As you see, I have the ability to add more time 
or end the page whenever I like. In this case, I'm going to end it now, and you'll see the phone return to its normal state. The same concept applies in our group voice page. You're able to build voice groups to receive pages. So in this case, I built one called the main voice group. When I hit this button, this will take all the phones in that group off hook, and I will be speaking to them. Um, it won't interrupt any existing call, although they will be able to hear it. And since it doesn't use a line, it won't mess with anything that's going on on the phone. As you can see, the message has ended, and the phone has returned to a normal state. This concludes this demonstration of the new Bridge Operator Console phone messages and phone paging features available in version 2.2.